I have next Senator Peterson, then Senator Benson, then Senator Nelson, then Senator Westrom. Senator Peterson. Thank you, Madam President. Um, Madam President and members, I actually didn't plan to say anything on this bill. I've already made my statements. I've made many of them. Um, uh, I do want to say, since I am um, to my friend from Minneapolis, thank you. Um, thank you for your work on behalf of 38,000 people who are just trying to live a better life and seek the treatment that they so desperately need. Uh, unfortunately, members, this bill does not help uh, those folks. This bill helps um, maybe, maybe 5,000 of them, and we're leaving the other 33,000 behind. And the reason, members, that we're leaving those 33,000 behind, 33,000 people who have stories that are just as compelling as the Weavers who testified in committee and the other stories that pulled at our heartstrings, 33,000 people who could tell a story equally as compelling. The reason we're in this position is because the governor has been completely unwilling to engage in an intellectually honest, meaningful, good-faith conversation about this issue. And the reason I was compelled to speak is because of what I heard from Senator Franzen, one of the most untrue statements I have ever heard said in this chamber, praising the governor for his courage on this issue, you've got to be kidding me. There is nobody who believes that. And 33,000 people will not get the treatment they deserve because of the governor. You know, we started this session, and frankly, the legislative leaders, I believe, were trying to protect the governor on this issue. And to their credit, after the governor insulted every member of the legislature, by saying we were hiding behind our desks on something that he knew full well we could pass and we supported, we obliged and we sent him a bill and this chamber overwhelmingly supported a bill that would help those 38,000 people and was a great solution. And again, I commend Senator Dibble and all 48 of the members who supported that, that legislation. But the governor never got out from behind his wall of special interests, law enforcement interests, and others who he has listened to without fail throughout this and has demonstrated zero courage and zero leadership. And I will not allow that statement, that untrue statement, to go without being challenged on this floor. Members, this bill is not what it could be and it's not what it could be because of the governor. Representative Moline, Senator Dibble, Senator Benson, Representative Garofalo, and the countless other members of this legislature who supported a plan that actually worked for patients stood for those 38,000 people. But the one person who didn't for certain, for certain, was Governor Dayton. Senator Benson. 